it's work, 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 friend, friend, work, yeah. work, 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 friend, yeah. friend, 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 Maybe friend, friend, work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Enemy, yeah. enemy, enemy. Oh, you're the friend I needed. Yeah. <laughs> Igor, you and I shall be at the very heart of a scientific enterprise that will change the world. We shall create a life out of death. It's alive. This gives us a new twist on the Frankenstein story. What do we learn about Victor and Igor? Is there something new? Well, I mean, for Igor, Igor, I mean, I feel like uh, you're sort of learning everything about this version of Igor because Igor's never really been granted too much of uh, a sort of depth before in terms of what he's uh, been shown, you know, in terms of his backstory and how he comes to meet Victor and all of that. So um, that's, I think, for me, for my character's point of view, that's that's what the new the new take on the film is. It's it's seeing a lot of the the story that is familiar to us but from the perspective of of this assistant who is uh both completely indebted to and and in love with and also totally abused by um his uh his boss and friend we shall create a man after our own image questions um well you're welcome do you have more of a work relationship or are you friends in the movie uh, it's it's work, 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 friend, friend, work, yeah. work, 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 friend, yeah. friend, 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 Maybe friend, enemy. friend, work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Enemy, enemy, enemy. Oh, you're the friend I needed. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that, isn't it? It's, it's a lot of that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't know where I stand. I'm. I think that's Igor's battle is just trying to be like. And also, it's the, the, what the film's about. Ultimately, is that somebody, two people who've never had friendship, basically realizing how important it is to both of them. I mean, at the end of the film, were it not for friendship, Victor would not have this person in his life who actually wants to save him. He's pushed everybody else away and kind of been a shit to everyone, so nobody wants to help him. And and you know, my character is the only one who sees enough good in him because of that friendship to actually think he's worth saving, um, which of course he is. Um, so yeah. You have the chance to be part of something. Oh, what? Being electrocuted. Chased by monsters. And hunted by the police. Well, if you're going to concentrate on the dark side. What would happen if the both of you would watch a horror movie? Who would get scared more easily? Well, if yeah. it was about yeah. the devil, I think I'd be out the door within about five <laughs> minutes. But other than that, I'm all right with horror yeah, movies. Yeah, no, I'd be, I'd be scared. I'd be scared real quick. Yeah. So are you not a fan of the genre or are you just very careful with what you watch? No, I, I mean, I'm a fan of it, in, but I'm also, I can't watch too much of it because it does like, I'm easily freaked out. And on like a psychological level, I'm still kind of a child, so I can, I can be terrified as much as they can. At the beginning of the movie, there is this really um, intensive quote I couldn't get out of my head. Um, it said that you can't judge cruelty if you've never known kindness. What, what do great, you think right? about it? Mm. And what can each of us do to make this world a little bit kinder? I mean, I think it's there's something that's absolutely right. You know, you, you, it's the circumstances which people can get used to living in just because they've never known anything else is uh, are pretty awful. I mean, people, you can you can learn to tolerate a, a lot mm -hmm. if it's all you know because you have to because it's out of sort of a survival mechanism. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's a, it's a that's a it's a great it is a very very good line. Mm -hmm. Is there something you maybe feel inspired to, like, make this world a better place? Uh, yeah, there's certain charitable organisations that I, I think do incredible work and, mm -hmm. and I support them as much as I can. Um, and, and, yeah, seeing people who really actually give up their lives to help others is always really inspiring. Um, uh, and trying to help them do what they do uh, is, is something that's something that I've done. Um, it sounds like you're just sort of copping out by going like they're really good at doing it, so I'll just give them a bit of cash. But that's what you do. No, but I think also you just make the we all just like try and make the world better by being good people and not being <clears> dicks <throat> to people. And those that small thing I think makes everyone's day better and puts everyone in a better mood and just you know little contributions. Absolutely. Let's say you could invent something enormous and something really cool like uh, Victor and Igor do in the movie. What would you love to invent? Love machine. A that, love machine. A love machine <laughs> that that makes that makes everybody in love. 
all the time. All the time. Because how, <laughs> well, how could you bo- how could you really like start wars and shit like that if like everybody was having it off all the time? Yeah. Yeah, and I mean like full blown like full love. Like <laughs> sexual love. Like yeah. Full on <laughs> yeah. full love. Uh, full on protected love. <laughs> How would this machine look like? I'm just trying to imagine <laughs> no, no, it. It's, it's, it's not it's so much like, a physical thing. Oh, it's, oh. It's, just, it's like a kind of it's like a it's like an, an emotion device. <laughs> yeah. The like emoticon. like if Cupid's arrow was a real device right. that he could just go around shooting people with and it made them in love. <laughs> that was what it would be. If you were to ask me what superhero I would be as well, it would be a superhero called Cupid, which kind of exists but doesn't he wasn't a superhero, he was a god. But uh, but I would be a superhero called Cupid doing the same thing basically because you could just you could just like walk onto the battlefield with two countries facing off against each yeah. other and like I've got nuclear weapons like oh, I've got nuclear weapons as well and you could be like <laughs> everybody be in love and, and then like, they'd start like getting off and it'd be hilarious that would be amazing yeah. but it's true though wouldn't it so it'd be a love machine exactly you what, know what I mean <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for the interview it was thank a you. pleasure to talk Cheers. to you thank, thank you. you thank you so much Cheers, thank you, you.